Takahe are amongst one of our most critically endangered species, and their recovery relies as much on their management on offshore islands as it does in the wild. But when managing populations on islands, sometimes it's essential to retire birds once they've produced enough offspring to ensure the genetic health of the next generation. Today we're lucky enough to take part in one such retirement, moving two birds from Marner Island to Zelandia in Wellington to assist with the Mitre 10 Takahe Recovery Program. There's always something happening out my window. This is James and Trisha. Lovely to meet you. Oh, Yeah. Ready? Yep. So, Sue, why are we moving these birds off Manor Island? This pair are an older pair. They're, um, their breeding days are pretty much finished, and um, so they haven't raised a chick for, you know, six years or so. And so they're off to greener pastures, or, and, uh, yeah, where the public can see them. Oh, that's great. I guess we better go and catch the boat. Cheers. So, Trish, we've got the birds. Do you want to have a look? Absolutely. So how are you guys involved in the Takahe Recovery Program? My husband and I, we own a Mitre 10 shop in Padapadaumu, and us, like all Mitre 10s across the country, participate in fundraising efforts to help save the Takahe. And what sort of activities does that involve? We raise awareness about the Takahe by having a children's art competition. We select some winners from that, and they do a children's uh, calendar, which we sell on to customers, as well as uh, we some of the proceeds from our sales of tussock grasses go to towards the Takahe program. And Maruten also nationally gives donations every year to DOC to help fund some of the transfers of the Takahe, and along with uh, building pens and, and anything that they need. Awesome. And so it's really exciting. Hi Peter, here are the birds for Zelandia. <laughs> So, Raywood, how many people do you expect to come to Zelandia and see these Takahe? Well, at the moment we have about 70,000 per annum, and we are hoping that with the Takahe we'll actually have a lot more visitors. So, it will be a quite good, good place to see them. Fantastic. And what, so, where are these two animals going now? They're going to go into a specially built quarantine pen for the next few weeks just to set, let them settle down and finish off the disease screening. And then when they've settled down and we think they're quite relaxed, we'll just open the gate and let them go. You know there's always something happening out my window. There's always something happening out my home. You know there's always something happening. It's great to see these birds that have contributed vital offspring for the recovery of their critically endangered species now able to enjoy a well-earned retirement. So if you get the opportunity, why not call in and say hello to these beautiful Takahe and some of the other residents of the Zelandia Open Sanctuary. There's always something happening out my window. There's always something happening out my home.